there is an understanding that feminine essence beings are very sensitive. We need a little bit of extra coddling. We need a little extra protection. We're physically more weak. So, so what's the exchange for that? What's the what? What's the exchange? If the exchange is that you're a little bit weaker and you need a little bit more coddling and you need a little bit more society to kiss your ass. Let, Hang on, stop. Stop. What's the finish. exchange? What's the exchange to men? What do we get? You get see. Oh, I see. The only thing that you can offer us is the thing that you, that we also can offer back to you, right? Which is, I guess. I, so I have the, toys. The I answer, mean, you guys so, aren't doing that well. So the well. thing is, your whole value structure, Crazy. everything within your values revolves to, I deserve to have my ass kissed because I have a I make the babies. You don't make the babies. How did that? Uh, how did we yes, get the does. math wrong? We don't need you. Well, yes, I mean, you I'm do. not saying yes, it's personal, we but and we honestly, actually don't. And yes, we do. Well, who invented? I'm sorry. Who invented sperm. the technology for you to be able to do that? You who? need sperm. <laughs> I guess what we yeah. could have invented the Good. technology. Uh, we if could we have, but you didn't. Listen, this is not. This is not to say that men don't have their role. It's simply to say we actually have the bodies that produce the babies. Then what are you going to do when there's artificial wombs? We're obviously wombs? of a higher What do you value? do when there's artificial wombs? What? What about artificial wombs? We shouldn't what are you have do artificial wombs. That is usurping oh the God. power That's of a woman. Strong. And it's That's making right. us it's not as valuable. It's usurping the power of a woman. So, so then what do so men get then from women? What did men get then from women if we have artificial wombs and we no longer need your womb? You don't what do you want give us women? Then? What, you guys would all kill yourselves within three days of not having women here. The only reason you are here oh. is to impress us, to protect us, to f*** us right, to get our adoration, uh -huh. to have us feel Crazy. like we're worshiping you and we're sucking mm -hmm. your I mean, there's an energy exchange here that Super works Super weird. Out. There was a great episode that happened, I, I believe it was Survivor, where men and women were divided up into groups, and the men were sent to an island to survive, and the women were sent to an island to survive. Now, it, interestingly enough, the men lasted a lot longer than three days without the women. Of In course. fact, they were thriving. They of were course. killing everything that, hang on, stop. They were killing everything that they could possibly find. They were eating like kings. They rediscovered fire with nothing but their own minds, while the women were freezing to death. Mm -hmm. They uh, literally gave up within just a couple of days and begged the men to go to their campfire. But we wouldn't last three days without women. I'm Is that right? I'm simply saying if you guys literally knew that every woman dropped dead and she was not there, you're talking about a simulation where they know at the end of this, they're going to go home to their girlfriend, they're going to go home to their mom, their aunt, their daughter, and the women are still there. I'm mm -hmm. saying if all the women were just dropped dead, yeah. what are you guys going to do? That would be the same problem you would have in reverse yeah. without the infrastructure exactly. built it's, by but, men. But my human, point human is society. we actually do need All you our... do, uh, I listen to everything you say, but then when I try to respond, you cut right in. I'm so sorry. just hang tight. Let me get my point in too. If the situation was reversed, if men were gone, who would maintain the infrastructure? Well, Go ahead and lie to me and say women. <laughs> no, no, lie. no. Don't get me wrong. I am not saying that each man is just null and void. I'm simply saying that women need to have an extra layer of reverence and protection and respect from men. Erroneous. That what we do don't we get? get. Erroneous. What we do, don't then, get it. In exchange, what do men get? Men get our presence. Right. That's it. You have nothing. Why so what you're saying to me, here's, here's you're how You're saying there's here's what nothing? We're doing. Here's what we're doing to, to go around and around and around. You say women deserve these extra privileges from men. Okay, that's fair. But when I ask what are women giving them, they just, me. It's like, well, Listen, now you understand why. I the, feel like it's now a given that you know dynamic. what a woman offers. Let them I, don't, I don't know let why it's finish. impossible for you to let me finish a sentence. But now, so what you're saying is, is that the only thing you bring to the table is your and no. so all a, hang on, all a man ever has to do is reject your vagina because it's literally the only thing of value you have. No, I said it's the most valuable thing we have. We have Great. lots of other points of value. That's just the most, hence why many women choose to be celibate. They choose to wait for their husbands because we inherently know this is our most prized possession <laughs> is our body. But I'm just simply saying it. 
a lot of for a lot of us it's because this is my sacred vessel you're not entering this until we're at a certain point you have proven yourself to me i know you're going to be a good father etc et a woman doesn't get to envelop her pussy around my dick until you've done xyz and er, der, der. <laughs> but you see, i'm giving a, you the gift of soul. allowing you to envelop my what what's really amazing here and is a good that man actually, that is how i feel about him to be honest i love being it, yeah i love you've being actually demonstrated that for us that, in, or, that the best way for men to remove your power over them is for them to just not be interested in your yeah and that's fine i, I that's it obviously that's the only thing what else do you bring to the table besides two hundred dollars i just i just want to clarify that you think that the only value that women bring to the table is their no, now, hang again. On, hang on. If that, hang on, hang on. Let me Let finish the finish. question. If that's not true, then what other value are you bringing to the table? Soul, a good cooked meal. I mean, a clean house, raising kids, figuring out social issues to try to find solutions to things. I mean, I'm masterminding men with men. Men are better at all those things. Okay, well then, those men don't need to come to me because they have it yes. figured out with each other. So, so for men who can cook That's their own food, which is easy as shit, for men who right, can uh, clean Somebody their own to homes, give you a which by the way is easy as can be. Day. I mean, come on, it's it's simple. Women's work is very incredibly valuable, and it comes yeah, well, in what, with in what regard? Other than your, what are you bringing to the table? I keep on asking you this. You're like. Well, cooking and cleaning, feminine all essence. things men can do I'm for themselves. I'm telling you, so there's, on, a, there's a feminine essence. Hang on, hang essence. on, I'm almost done. Cooking, cleaning, all of this, these are all things that men can nurturing, do for themselves. They, nurturing, I'm almost done, I'm almost done. If they are things that men can do for themselves, well, can you name something you're uniquely going to bring to the table a man can't do for themselves other than your... I can have a baby for him. He can't have a baby for himself. I mean, so I guess he could use he an artificial, an artificial womb. womb I guess. So then if there's an, if there's if you an want to go that wound, way, I just value. think we Hold have on. a human design that answer. works a certain way. Go ahead, Andrew. So if there's an artificial womb, there's no, there's nothing then. You could be his number one fan and lift him up <laughs> oh, when he's down. Boy. Amen, sis. <sighs> I mean, if you want to go with that, that you guys don't need women, fine. Have fun. I do have <laughs> but, to move things oh. along here. I do have to move things along unless you have I a I just think thing. it's incredible that ultimately the only thing you think you bring to the yeah. table is a uterus. And the thing is, so so I think that my position, that the, I think that the I Christian know. position is actually far better. You know, it's really funny. The Christian position yeah, of yeah, create, yeah, what, what did God make people? Why are you yelling? Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hear the answer, you right? A, you, look, the thing is, I trash feminists more than anybody on planet Earth. I mean, I'm probably one of the best at it. But the thing that's interesting is that I believe that women have an actual ontology and a nature and that they have value beyond just that of their vagina and giving you the baby. Mm -hmm. I think that they That's actually I have said. an aunt. Hey, stop, lady, stop. Dude. Just calm down and listen. If you listen, right, then you'll be able to, to craft way better responses. So the thing is, is that there's an ontological nature of, of men and women. There's a nature to them. And I think that the nature of women in and of itself is valuable, not just because they have a, I think women are valuable without a uterus. I think women are valuable even if they're not sleeping. That's exactly with, what stop, I said. I called it feminine essence. Even if they're essence. not sleeping, can't help yourself. You just can't help it. Even if they're not sleeping with tons because of men, I still think that they Because you're saying the same thing, but yet if you say it, you're right. And if I say it in my way, I'm wrong. It's the exact you, same okay. thing. You can say shit. But you got to stop interrupting. You can agree, yeah. disagree, but you got to let him finish. He lets you yeah, speak. And I promise I'll let you finish. I promise I'll let you finish. But I'm saying if there's an underlying ontology to both, and I think women without a uterus can still be highly valuable to society. And I think that women who don't sleep with men can be highly valuable to society. I don't see these as the ontology basis for the only reason that women are valuable. And yet when I ask you what makes you valuable to a man, the only two things that you can give me are those. And so absent those things, you're saying that other women can't really be. That's not what I'm saying. I said the feminine essence. You, whatever, however you worded it, I'm saying femininity in and of itself, which women embody, whether we're reproducing, reproducing, or we're not. When I say, I'm saying the 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 generated energetic state from that huh? part of huh? us, the feminine huh? essence, our feminine energy. 
Mm-hmm. I don't valuable. think that femininity is tied up with promiscuity. I never said That's that. That's insanity. I never mm-hmm. said it was. Then why are you only referencing your as being feminine? I'm simply saying that is the physical embodiment that represents the highest level, the highest expression. No, motherhood of is. My, okay, Amen. but that's how I became a mother, through my vagina. And I became well, impregnated by a penis a getting inserted too. into my vagina. <laughs> and then yeah. coming out, and then it mixing oh, with okay. my egg. Okay, well, that's... You can be a mother, you can be a mother even if you don't bear the child, you could still be a mother, right? It's just, you have your feminine essence, right? You're nurturing... You're loving, you're Couldn't caring. Couldn't you still be a mother? But that's not what you said, though. Yeah. Literally. Well, then I, I'm sorry if I mother? misspoke. I'm sorry if I misspoke. Oh, I, I was time. referring to the feminine essence, the feminine nature. What is that? <clears throat> Just leave that it. is our tendency to nurture, our tendency to be able to make sacrifices, our tendency to submit to a man when it when it wants that. The things that you won't do? Yeah. I submit when the man... I. I no, you've been saying the opposite this Listen, entire time. Listen, I submit the to the men. The whole time. I submit to the men who earn that position oh. in my oh, life. Oh, submission is earned. It is. No, well, I submit submission. to God first, and then as wait, men step up. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. You submit to God, correct? Correct. Mm. Aren't, don't you do Yeah, you have oh. only one. You have an old I do sex education, So yeah. wait, how do you, no, 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 but you have an old right, where you post You know news. God created Right, well, for a marriage, Mm-mm. but it says who? God. <laughs> but what's a marriage? Do, You're talking about you, the institution. Stop, stop, guys, guys, guys! Please let me have a f-ing back and forth here. Okay, so do you think God wants you to do? All this? Yeah, it's a ministry. I'm actually oh. teaching men how to please women. I have tutorials. <gasps> I have eating tutorials. I have um, blow. And really I'm teaching your people. daughters doing that honestly. Yeah, no, I will you would not. My, I will teach you my would not want your daughters to do that I and then expect not. to find a okay. good man. Yeah, That's yeah, not yeah. Know how hard it is to not have proper easy. education and then just okay, go but out you're here gonna and try to figure it out. That yes. it's okay to squirt on. That's disgusting. That is shameful. I'm sorry that you have shame attached to your sexuality. I men love a woman who's. What's they feel man? baptized by that. It's like a life-changing oh, experience. I just want to make sure. I just want to make sure I got this clear. <laughs> Jesus Christ came and died for your sins so that you could teach women how to suck better. That's is crazy. that right? Do you know what sin means? Oh. Can you answer my question? Jesus Christ didn't need to die for my sins. I'm not a sinner. Oh my what? gosh! You oh. are demonic. So, so so wait a second. Wow. So um, wait, so what did Jesus Christ we're die awesome. for? You need to be healed. Sin means you turn away no, from yourself. Not what, like, not you're turning water. away from sin the means. best thing for you. That does that's not what wow. sin means. That's you miss the mark. Demonic. You well, that's fine. It it is. Agree to disagree. Sin is turning away from the things which are the best for you. No. No. Sin is turning away from the things that are not your truth. Would you actually show your parents something like that? Like when your parents know what I do? There's no way. I'm very public. You I can go into my Instagram. I'm very so public. Right. I wrote books. Truth... I dedicated so, hey. my books to my parents. So then tell it me, if you're about truth... my whole life in there. I don't have hey. secrets. If your I am truth very was to be, if, if your truth was to be a serial killer, that was your truth. No, then because you would be if sinning. you think about it, well, let, let me finish, finish the question. <laughs> if that was your truth <laughs> to be a serial killer, <laughs> your truth. Why is it that turning away from that nature wouldn't be sinful by that logic? Can you explain that That's to me? That's facts. <laughs> you have, if you have to go to the most extreme example of society, that is literally a trauma response. You're not getting what I'm yeah, saying. All you're, all, you're, all you're doing is That's obfuscating. Trippy. Answer the question. Say the question again. Okay, yeah, so listen to it this time. So if it was your truth to be a serial killer, you would, by your logic, turning away from that truth would be sinful. Do you understand that? No, I believe the serial example, if we must go with that, that is now hurting other people. My but life, it's your truth. My life is not hurting anybody. No, you know, no. Oh, hurting? so now we're it's on a harm reduction. Category. I thought it was about your truth a second ago. It's not about your truth. Yeah. No, I'm getting confused stuff. at what, I didn't know that this was going to be a religious podcast. You're doing a God and God, you said you were submitted to God. Yeah, I, that's I am. My I'm, God I'm sorry, is uh, not the God of the Bible. It's not That's the weird. God that you serve. But you're using biblical terms. 
it doesn't matter what terms I use. We can say something else. We can call it source energy. Does that work better for you? That we can call it word salad. 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 You literally do gym, like salad. mental salad. gymnastics. Salad. You don't even know what's your reality because you have no foundation. You're just picking and choosing things from everywhere and trying to make it. I work have for books. You. you can read my books. I'm not my foundation. Read your books. No, well, because you're, you don't you're, even know me. You're is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? And that is forever moving. There is no solid foundation. You stand for nothing. Because I'm an ever-evolving being. Our Stop DNA it. is a spiral that's out. evolving. We're always going to be You can evolving. grow. You can mature. Exactly. But you're going the opposite way. <laughs> I'm not going the... I was the celibate, good Christian girl. I did all this shit that you're doing yep. now. I did that when I was 18 to 33. I spent 15 years doing this whole good but, girl but shit. You can do things, but were you truly born again? Did you I have the Holy Spirit? So and devoted no, no, no. and if, if you, you would problem. read my Listen. book okay let me let me finish if you were truly is. born again you wouldn't be looking at me with those eyes first of all you would have the holy spirit in you and you would I'm be a maturing demon. i'm a demon exerciser you would be you would be transitioning and and going and moving towards a direction that where it's really that's godly. your perspective Hold on. Honey. It's it's the i did it i did it the different way that you did stop 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 Hold romans on. one Therefore God also gave them up to vile impurity, in the lusts of their hearts, to dishonor their bodies among themselves, who exchanged the truth of God for the lie, 